It is now being reported by the Washington Post that Donald Trump is getting ready to turn his back on Mike Flynn. That he's getting ready to go back on all the positive and flattering and complimentary things he said about Mike Flynn over the past couple of years. Hey, what's up, everybody? There are a few key things that Jabba the Ginger Libtard here is leaving out, intentionally leaving out, I should say. For starters, the Washington Post is not a reliable source of information, especially when it comes to President Trump. I'm not going to get into the specific number of mistakes and retractions they have made in regards to this president, but I will point out a few key things about the article he is referencing. Number one, like always, the entire premise is based on anonymous sources, and it says so in the very first paragraph. Number two, it seems as if Jesse Madison Dollimore has not researched this topic very much because the entire premise was conceived in the opinion section of the newspaper. As you can see here, the notion of President Trump turning his back on General Flynn and flipping on him started from the opinion of another far-left kook named Paul Walderman. Walderman, seen here, is a special projects director for Media Matters. For those not familiar with Media Matters, they are the wacky far-left organization that sit back and they monitor conservative media hosts like Sean Hannity, Rush Limbaugh, Tommy Lauren, Laura Ingram, and so on. They are probably funded by Soros. They are the type of groups that get together and organize boycotts on the sponsors of the conservative subjects I just mentioned. They are radical in their ways, they love to suppress free speech, and they try to silence anyone who doesn't think like them. On your screen, Paul Waldman, the Special Projects Director for Media Matters for America. And for those who may not know, what is Media Matters? Uh, media Matters is a progressive media watchdog group. We uh, monitor the mainstream media and the conservative media um, in an effort to identify and correct uh, what we refer to as conservative misinformation. And correct uh, what we refer to as conservative misinformation. Uh, we are a proudly progressive group, so we're interested in that kind of misinformation. We who is Media Matters? A disgusting group of dangerous filth. Media Matters. This is Media Matters. They are the most dangerous organization in America. Media Matters, the resistance propaganda machine. Media Matters for America. They are the number one anti-free speech, the number one pro-censorship group in this country. I've always just wanted to be mentioned by Media Matters. This is how you know you've made it in the world. Radical leftist group. Far left group, Media Matters. They literally are paying an army of people to listen to every conservative show in the country, every single day, every thought, every word, every sentence. Media Matters, you know, we got scumbags that are that are doing the will of, of evildoers. It's really a, a simple choice between good and evil. Do we want to stand with people like Media Matters for America? Media Matters, which has been on a witch hunt to get me fired, Media Matters tries to get people fired. They said something about me uh, last night. Nazi-style tactics from Media Matters. Media Matters and the Washington Post are the vehicles for libtards like Dollamore and others to get on YouTube and spread that liberal propaganda. For those of you who have followed Trump Fan Network on YouTube for a while, have already seen me debunk that idiot Dollamore before, many times actually. And basically that is the point. YouTube channel like his and others keep pumping out and uploading these anti-Trump videos with no recourse. They don't have to be accurate. They don't have to be truthful. All they have to do is be anti-Donald Trump, and YouTube pays them to do it. They make money by spreading misinformation. He's monetized. If one of his followers is stupid enough to wire him a few bucks, that's just side gravy for him. And that kind of stuff pisses me off. I believe in Donald Trump. I believe in the America First agenda. While California libtards like Dollamore are getting fat lying about this president. And until next time, this is Trump Fan Network. Peace out. Donald Trump feels so bad for Flynn. It was so unfair that he was fired slash had to quit. So unfair that he was charged and pleaded guilty for lying to federal investigators within Donald Trump's own Justice Department. Ugh, please. Remember, you need to shut the fuck up.